You want to know what's wrong with this bike? There's way too many colors. Look at that ugly amber lens. Absolutely disgusting. Look at the back here. This huge, ugly red thing. An amber lens again. Absolutely unacceptable. But don't worry about nothing. I got you. I always got you. Check this out. Not only are blacked out lenses, but they're also LEDs. Stay tuned. I'll show you how to put them on your bike. Just quickly looking at the product here. Obviously, again, from Hogworks. Man, these guys like to take my money. Anyway, you got uh, blacked out lenses here, which uh, will look cool on the bike. And these, as you can see at the bottom here, they're uh, dual filament. So those will be for your uh, front signal lights. And obviously, you have to get matching ones for the back. These are just uh, single filament bulbs, as you can tell from the connector there. And uh, last but not least, a little tail light here. Um, again, it's all blacked out and uh, LEDs going down. I thought that was pretty cool. Again, from Hogworks. Again, everything here is uh, plug and play. And uh, I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so let's start off with these signals. Uh, if you look underneath here, there's a little notch right there. Put your flathead screwdriver, you just twist. That's it. And the whole thing comes right off. Okay. And there's a bulb that you want to take out. Just spin. Boom. See how it's a dual filament, dual contact. And you have all this goo stuff on the end of it. Uh, that's for the electrical. So what I'll do is uh, I'll probably dab some of that onto the uh, new hardware before uh, putting it back in there. Again, as you see, it's a dual filament contact uh, for that bulb. So this is the uh, bulb that we took out. And uh, again, dual filament contact there. We're replacing that bulb with uh, this LED. Huge ring here, look at all the little LEDs in there. This is really gonna be a lot safer at night. Definitely a lot brighter. And again, you got your uh, dual filament contact on the bottom here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bike. So I've got it uh, kind of just placed in there. Um, obviously I haven't put the uh, cap back on there, but I just wanted to uh, turn the bike on here, see if it works. And uh, there we go. So it lit up. So now it's just like a little ring there. And then if you um, hit the signal, that's your running light right now. If you hit the signal light, it turns to amber. When you turn your signal back off, goes back to a nice little white ring there. Really cool. Now you do the same on the other side. Move on the other side, I just wanted to show you again, like there's the amber and there's the uh, smoked uh, lens. Uh, definitely a lot cooler. Anyway, I'll uh, show you what it looks like on the bike. Just want to do a quick uh, before and after. Uh, so obviously that's before. And uh, this is after. With the, obviously with the bike off. Let's turn that on now. So again, so now the bike's on. Uh, this is before with the amber. And uh, this is after with the uh, blacked out and uh, Bit of a halo ring there. Oh, it's probably hard to see it on video there, but. And uh, anyway, if I hit the signal light. And right there. Okay, I'm gonna hit the signal off. Back to the ring. It's really cool. Now I'll go ahead and do the other side. So I've got them both installed on the front there. As, as you see, when the bike is parked, you don't have that ugly uh, amber lens in the front anymore. It's just all blacked out. And uh, when you do turn the bike on, again, you got rings on both sides and a big ring in the center. So that will be how the bike will be approaching on traffic and stuff like that. It's a very clean look, all white lights in the front. And again, if I hit the signal light on this side, close to the amber. Shut it off. Back to the ring. Really cool stuff. And yeah, so now I'm just gonna move on to the back. Uh, exactly, the exact same process. The only difference to the back is again, there's only a single uh, filament. As you can see from only one contact point on the light. And that's because on the back ones here, there's no uh, daytime running lights. Uh, they're only activated when you hit the signal for them to come on. Other than that, they just stay uh, turned off. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Plugged in. Uh, for whatever reason, 
I'm not sure why they're not working. Uh, I did the exact same way I did it to the front. And I know they're not supposed to be on right now because they're only a single contact. So it should only be activated while you hit the signal. But uh, we'll go ahead and hit the signal light on now. So there it is. You can see that it's flashing. Um, front's flashing. And you come to the back. And she's not flashing. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. Even if I push this in, no contact coming. Even if I pull it out, I put it in the other way. Still no flash. Signal's still on there. So I'm not sure. I'm going to bring that back to uh, Hogworks and uh, hopefully they can rectify the issue for me. And uh, so if I shut that off, same on the other side, we get the signal. So you can already tell it's, you know, it's uh, hyper flashing, it's flashing really quickly. That's how you know there's a problem. And again, it's not working on this side, but it is working at the front. So anyway, we'll send that over to Hogworks and uh, see what they can do for me. So, but let's go ahead and uh, do the uh, tail light, shall we? Uh, the tail light, very simple. Again, I'll shut the bike back off, but uh, you get uh, two Phillips screws, one here, one on that side. And uh, yeah, this whole thing will come right off. We'll put the new one on, see what happens. It's all blacked out, smoked out, looks pretty good. So I just wanna show you that between uh, this one and the old one. So it's a lot thinner. And uh, actually it's not that much thinner, is it? But uh, either way, uh, it kind of disappeared into the bike, especially because the, uh, the bike is black and it's all blacked out. So when it's off, um, it kind of disappear into the paint. That's the idea anyway. So in the back, it should be just a plug and play. So we'll see how that works out for us. Okay, so here's your tail light. I've pulled the screws off. And so now this whole thing just comes out off the bike. You just lay it down and you got your connector here and you got a little tab at the bottom. You just gotta push in on the tab and pull out. And the whole light came off. And uh, so now you just grab the, the new one there and uh, just plug it back in there where the old one was and uh, everything should work. So let's see what happens. That's her there, plugged in uh, where the old one was plugged. Uh, before I bolt it back on, let's just uh, see if it works. And uh, you'll just be using the uh, Phillips screws that you took out of the uh, old one and uh, put them in the new one. But let's just see if it works first. One and tooth. And we've got power. Okay, looks good. See if I uh, hit the brake. Beautiful. Well, there you have that tail light installed. Um, again, it looks so much better with just the black. It fades into the bike really, really well. And when you turn your bike on, really cool. Really happy with those. And if I only get those signal lights to work, I'd be a happy camper. What's up guys? It's a couple days later. I ended up speaking to guys from uh, Hogworks and did some of my own research and realized the reason why the LEDs from Hogworks weren't working is because of a reverse uh, polarity issue. Uh, nothing to do with Hogworks, it's nothing to do with Harley. Uh, the way that they wire their bikes, I'm not really sure why. They have the polarity reversed on the housing of the, of the signal lights in the back, but that's what the issue was. Anyway, so instead of messing around with the uh, with the Harley and their wiring uh, diagrams. I just reversed uh, the wires on the LED light. So the red and the black, they were cut, they were married together, uh, or married to each other, sorry. And uh, yeah, put them back in and uh, now it works. Check it out. It's gonna again uh, put it back in here. Uh, beautiful. And I'll turn the bike on. Okay, uh, we'll just hit our uh, hazards for uh, just for fun here. And uh, see, left, right, both illuminated. 
and just come to the back. Magic. Well, that's great. Obviously, you're gonna put uh, this one back in, roll it up, and uh, put the cover back on. But uh, there you go. LEDs work. Door to the front. LEDs work. Really happy. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, LED installs for the signals uh, front and back. Uh, LED for the rear tail light. Uh, if you like what you see here, please hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, until the next time, happy wrenching and ride safe, everyone.